Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. However, we've got something special. I'm about to take up my second six star to rank five. I only have one rank five currently. Uh, it's Infamous Iron Man. And I got that one from a gem. So this is actually the first six star that I will be ranking to five with materials. And it's very exciting because I had to think really hard about who I was going to take up. And because we had that event, the uh, seven star um, celebration event, that was where I got the materials, but I had to choose a class. And I'm not going to tell you the class because then you'd have a good idea uh, who I was going to be taking up. So we're going to go through some of my options. All right. And I picked one from every class except tech because I already have infamous Iron Man as my tech rank five. So I'm not taking up another tech uh, to rank five. All right. So first one is going to be Black Widow Clairvoyant. Now, you guys already know how much I love Black Widow Clairvoyant, and you know how much I use her. She is crazy useful. She is great at utility. Her damage is decent, especially since I run the uh, Recoil Masteries, or the Ouchie Masteries, as we say. Uh, she is awesome, okay? She has a rotating uh, set of immunities and uh, debuffs, all right? So she is just awesome. Definitely worthy of a rank five, and she's not in the current seven-star pool. She would be awesome as a seven-star because she does not need to be awakened at all. In fact, her awakened ability is kind of useless. And so taking her if I were to rank five means I'd probably have to take, you know, put some sig stones into her and her sig ability is just not good. Okay. But she is good and I love her. Okay. Now the next one is going to be Hercules. Now you guys knew this was coming. Now I mentioned this on my live stream, uh, but at first, I was not going to take Hercules up to rank five, period. That was before Seven Stars came out. And the reason I wasn't going to take Hercules to rank five was because he was good at rank four. And, you know, wh why, why bother? Why bother taking him to rank five? But then when Seven Stars came out, I started to think, Kabam has already said that if they could have, they would have nerfed Hercules. So we already know how OP he is. So what that lets me know is that it's probably going to be a very long time, if ever, that we will see a seven-star Hercules. So rank five is about as powerful as he's going to get for a very long time. This is just speculation at this point. I have no insider knowledge. But that is why I put him back in the running. Uh, before that, I actually was thinking of taking uh, Hulkling up to rank five rather than Hercules. Okay. But because of the seven stars and that situation, Hercules is back in the running. Okay, now, the next one is going to be Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride is crazy good, and I have fun using her. I know Bad Boy, uh, one of my viewers, I know you're probably watching this, uh, he is a total Kitty fanatic, and with good reason. And I love watching... Uh, him and uh, another um, viewer, Schlerm, 
I love watching them just kind of, you know, mess with each other with the ghost versus kitty uh, battle there uh, because Slurm likes ghost. Bad boy likes kitty. I like both of them. Okay. Uh, I need to take ghost up to rank four first. She's currently not ranked four. Uh, and that's why she's not um, one of the options. And of course she's tech and I wasn't going to be taking her up anyway because of infamous Iron Man already there. All right. But Kitty is just phenomenal. You know, she has her immunities and when she's awakened, she doesn't even need a high SIG. My Kitty is SIG 200 even without being SIG 200, just SIG 1, she takes no damage while she is phased. That is huge. That is huge. And the more I play her, the more I just have fun using her. All right? So I'll get better with her for sure, but she is definitely right now um, probably my favorite mutant, I would say currently all right now the next one is gonna be nick fury nick 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 y'all already knew nick was coming you guys have seen if you've been watching my channel you already see the power of nick and you know how much i love nick he is absolutely my favorite skill champion hands down not even close kingpin i love kingpin he is a beast but Kingpin is not my favorite. Nick Fury, crazy, okay? You see me use him all the time. I use him all the time in Alliance Quest. Um, if I need to, I'll use him in Alliance War. Crazy, okay? Definitely. Uh, the In fact, he's the only skill that I would consider right now uh, to take to rank five, okay? So. I don't think I have to tell you guys too much about Nick Fury uh, as to why. Crazy damage, two lives, just just, just a beast, okay? If they can be bled, he's going to tear them up, all right? And last but not least, we have Spot. Spot is crazy, y'all. He is crazy. I use him... Every so often, but most of the time, uh, I think I use him on defense, but he is nuts. You use him properly, and he is capable of such crazy damage. Mine is low sig right now, but see, that one, you want a high sig, okay? And so he would be worth taking the rank five and sigging up, okay? So we've got Black Widow Clairvoyant. Her SIG is useless. We've got Hercules. He's already SIG 200. Kitty Pride already SIG 200. Nick Fury, already SIG 200. And Spot, who is, I think he's at like SIG 50-something, if I remember correctly. All right, so Black Widow and Spot, not maxed out. Whoever I take to rank five, I'm going to take him to max SIG most likely okay so place your comments below who do you think i chose out of these guys black widow clairvoyant hercules kitty pride nick fury spot i'll wait but we are about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. My baby Claire. That's right. Black Widow Clairvoyant. Even with her useless sig, I'm still taking her up. This makes up for when I ranked up Doom over her. Now she is the first mystic I am maxing out. Let's do it. Ooh, yes. Boom. There you are. Mwah. So, 
How many of y'all got this one right? I wonder. Claire, man. How many of y'all thought I was going to be taking up Hercules? Now, already, before I made this video, I had already selected the Mystic T6, okay? And because I was not taking up um, a 7-star to rank 2, and I thought about that. I really was. Um, if I had pulled Hulk, from the seven star pool, I would have been tempted. Okay, tempted. But right now, I think taking up um, six stars to rank five for me currently is the better play. Okay, and let me tell you, I cannot wait to use her in um, Alliance War. That is where you're going to see the gameplay. Oh, I cannot wait. She is just so useful, so good, so much fun to play. If you watched uh, as I was doing Act uh, 8.2, I used her anytime I could. So hands down, uh, my favorite mystic. And because I run those ouchy masteries, she's perfect. Okay, if you don't run the Ouchie Masteries, I understand if you, you know, maybe you don't like her all that much. But she's good. Really good. And taking her up is only going to make her better. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check the champion info real quick. All right, so you see, she's already at 140. So I don't have that much to go to get her to SIG 200. Okay. Um, her prestige is... It's okay. I haven't been worried too much about prestige, uh, especially when you have these seven stars coming out, because that means that the prestige uh, ceiling has been raised again. Okay, so not too worried about it at this point in time. But let's take a look. Let's take a look at her stats at uh, maxed out. Look at that, man. 48,784 health with 8,000 attack. Mm. Okay. Uh let's take a look here. Okay, she got some nice crit crit critties. Um <laughs> decent crit attack uh damage rating. She's got some armor rating. I don't think I remember that. I didn't remember that she had armor rating. Okay. Um and block proficiency. Block proficiency and armor rating. Um let's see here. Reduces incoming attack damage by 67% while blocking. And then you have the armor rating reduces all incoming attack damage by 22. I do not know if these two are cumulative or what, but it means that she's tankier than those who don't have armor rating and just a lower block proficiency, okay? She doesn't have any physical resistance or energy resistance, that's cool. But since she can heal herself, I'm not too worried about that. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I am going to enjoy using her. Let's let's take a look here. Ooh, yeah. Yes, 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 indeed. Um, I'm going to enjoy using her in Alliance War. That's going to be a blast. Okay. Used her just today in Alliance War. All right. Anyway, take care. Hit the like button. It helps me out, helps me grow, helps YouTube remember that I'm actually a YouTuber so they can put up my videos to other people. Uh, anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.